from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us right now for some of the day's top stories. I'm Mark Zinni. Changes are coming in the city of Waterbury. The city's top official for the past 12 years said he will not seek another term in office. Mayor Neil O'Leary made that announcement during his State of the City address. There are still eight months before his term ends, and he's going to be 65 years old. He's the longest consecutive serving mayor in that city's history. We have some news on the job front right now. The State Department of Labor said employers added 5,600 jobs last month alone. The latest information from the February jobs report was just released and revised numbers for January show the state added 8,800 jobs that month. The state's unemployment rate has been stable at about 4%. Business owners are being reminded to enroll in My CT Savings. That's a new retirement savings program for people working in Connecticut. Here in our state, more than 600,000 people do not have the option of a retirement savings plan. My CT Savings is giving them a way to save. The state comptroller's office will oversee the plan. All Connecticut businesses with five or more employees must register for the program or offer their own plan. March 30th is the deadline to enroll. A brand new state park could be coming our way here in Connecticut. On Thursday, state and local leaders talked about the future of Batterson Park. The park is owned by the city of Hartford, but it's also part of Farmington and New Britain. The park hasn't been open now for seven years. A few years back, the state budgeted $10 million to fix it up. Once it is fixed up and open again, you'd be allowed to go and check it out, just like the other state parks here in our state. All right, our Friday will start off with some cloud cover by the afternoon, increasing sunshine from north to south. Uh, temperatures top out between 50 and 55. Mildest along the shoreline, a little bit cooler over the Litchfield Hills, closer to 50 there. Uh, as we head into the weekend, a storm system that will be moving into the Great Lakes, um, a second storm develops to our south as the energy transfers there. Uh, so that's going to increase the rain that could perhaps start off as a little bit of a wintry mix, also create an east-northeasterly onshore flow. They'll really add insult to injury. So as high temperatures on Saturday reach the 40s, it will feel more like the 30s than Sunday, uh, becoming mostly sunny, milder highs in the mid 50s, but it will be windy with gusts to around 30 miles an hour. Watching then the middle of next week for another storm.